Whoa, whoa, that was some close that we just had right there. Did not uh, expect that, did not expect that, but I'm not too surprised and I reacted as it happened. Once we got that second bump, bought some TVIX, sold some positions I was very, very full on and had gains on, sold them and I'm expecting this pullback to continue a little bit. If you watch yesterday's video, you'll see I was not too impressed with the bounce and I thought the trials were not really too telling. So to see the market up 4% on some not so telling trials was a little absurd to me. And that's exactly what sent the market down today. It just didn't come from me, came from some German journalists I've never heard of who talked about how this trial is too small to make any sort of conclusive decisions on. And that's the case, you know, only eight people were tested in this trial, all of which were young people, all of which, you know, had the trial go the way we want the trial to go with. And I don't want to downplay the significance of that trial, but it's still small and it's still early and it's still just a phase one trial. If you watch yesterday's video, I will say the exact same thing. So I think the market definitely reacted very solidly to that. It was an article in Stat News and people just didn't know what to do, didn't want to read the article, just decided they had to keep selling, keep selling, keep selling, keep selling. And that was kind of the approach I took a little bit once that first bounce came, you know, we, we bounced sharp drops. So I was like, okay, something happened. They said it was because of that. That came out. I was like, that's it. I didn't read the article. Don't need to read the article. Already know what it was about. Sold some stuff. I didn't sell any, all of any position except a little bit of Apple, which I've just had a good run on. Don't really see. It's not a strong enough value for me. It's a great company, great stock to own, but I've had my gains with it. You know, I'll shave that one completely. And I just took a little off the top on everything else, you know. So only 20, 30% in cash right now, but I plan to deploy that cash pretty quickly. I just see a little bit of panic happening right now and I want to get my hands on some TVIX, which is already in one hour yielding me a solid return. And I'm not normally a trader like that. This is very out of character for me, but the way I see it is there's not a whole lot of room to go up and there's a whole lot of room to go down. So... It's just simply a risk, a risk management um, repositioning for me that I'm seeing now come to fruition and have such a strong reaction in the market. And as soon as I acted, you know, after a little bit of a delay, not able to predict the future, but I can react to things as they occur. It just continued to sell and sell and sell and sell and sell. And I'm not a technicals guy either, but in terms of the technicals, this was just a, a beautiful technical sell-off. So that's kind of what I use to reaffirm my pos like thoughts and positioning and all that. And I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, but I do think this is going to continue. There's going to be a little bit of a more bearish tone. Um, there's a guy in Houston, Fred... Patia, Petita, something like that. Owner of the Houston Rockets, okay? Owns a lot of restaurants. Highly levered. Says in Texas, they're moving from 25% capacity to 50% capacity on Friday, but he's not too excited by that. They're barely filling the 25% capacity, so moving the 50% capacity isn't too optimistic. So, um, not too optimistic about that piece of news. You know, it is what it is. It's not like the economy is going to recover in a day, but I'm somewhat concerned about this job situation. I don't know how all these people are going to get back employed. So I'm not saying that this is going to be a worse recession. I do think the worst is behind us, but I do think that there are concerns out there that may come to fruition and there's more downside from this current level than there is upside from this current level. And I think yesterday's rally, yesterday's momentum was too strong. And I think this article on this end of day sell off was a counter strength. And I don't like to make decisions on momentum, but I do think this is a catalyst for downward momentum, of which I'm happy to ride out a little bit of. 
but I want to take, I want to raise some cash, just raise some cash. So then I can go back to buying once the downward momentum starts to lose some steam. That's how I'm thinking about this. I'm not changing my bet on America philosophy. I'm mostly still in and I'm not going to sell anymore. I'm not going to sell anymore. We can be down 10% unless some piece of news comes out that there is a new Ebola. I am not selling more. I have, I, I made that decision like that, like that. I just made my decision, sold what I needed to sell, bought the TVIX that I thought I needed to buy as a way to protect what I have and make some gains. And when I feel like the momentum is starting to slow down, I'm going to go back into buying. So if you're long, don't feel like you are, you need to sell. If it, if it keeps selling off, I actually advise you not to sell because you're going to be getting a bad price. I just happened to react rather quickly to this because the article came out and I was not a fan of yesterday's rally, as I said in yesterday's video, for the exact reason that caused the sell-off today. So I just was confident in my adjustment. And I will readjust once the momentum carries us down. And I will rebuy and re-enter and get back onto the main thesis here, which is bet on America, the future is going to be great, own a piece of these great American companies and the future of America and the future of the world. So if you're long, if you don't wanna, if you, if you don't wanna be in and out all the time, which I don't wanna be, but I will from time to time as I was at the beginning of coronavirus and then at the bottom of coronavirus, then you make adjustments from now every now and then. And I don't think that this pullback will be like the coronavirus pullback. This is a five, maybe, maybe, maybe 10% pullback. It's nothing crazy. Just going to take a little bit of advantage of taking some gains off the top, getting a better price on some percentage of my portfolio allocation. So until tomorrow, let's see what happens. Peace.